Hans Christian, when we spoke yesterday, uh, you uh, ground out that match. Uh, today, you were looking forward to playing a very, very tough opponent, but that looked really, really good out there. Yeah, I'm uh, extremely satisfied with my own performance. Um, from uh, from 8-4 in the first game, uh, I was 8-4 yeah, down. I think from that point on, I played exactly the way I wanted to and needed to to, uh, to control uh, Nat and his uh, tricky game. Um, yeah, I think I figured out his game plan pretty quickly and uh, settled from there. And uh, as I said yesterday, I, I was hoping that he would find it hard to uh, to kill the shuttles and get through my defense. And I, I think that showed today as well. My defense worked really well again. Uh, and when it does, uh, I think it's world class. So, yeah, I couldn't be happier, to be honest, uh, with the way I played. You said uh, you figured out his, his game plan. What was he trying to do? He's, he's very speedy on court. He's a smart player. Uh, what, what was he trying to yeah. do to get through your defense? Yeah, well, there's <laughs> definitely no, no doubt that he was trying to hit uh, a drop or a slice before the heart attack. So he was trying to move me before uh, he came with his uh, power smashes, which is uh, an approach that many players uh, have against me. I'm, I'm pretty good in my defense if people just uh, hit it hard. Uh, but as soon as I moved my... Uh, my starting position a little bit forward so I could cover those uh, drops and, and slices. Uh, I, I really settled down and, uh, and he, he found it difficult to change his game plan, I think. Um, so yeah, from that point on, I, I felt in control as long as I kept my, uh, my head in the game and I think I did basically throughout the entire game, the match. Uh, you, you said that uh, with the preparation that you've had uh, in Kiev, it's not too great for your for your body. After a match like that, are you are you actually uh, uh, feeling sharp now? Uh, have you uh, sort of bounced back from uh, from from uh, what you've had here? Yeah, to be honest, not really. No, uh, my body was not feeling great this morning. Uh, I tried to do a good workout in the room again. I'm still in quarantine. I'm waiting for a result today uh, to take me out of uh, quarantine. And again, it's not the protocol. It's just our own, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, our own quarantine. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm not feeling uh, at my best at all. Uh, but there's no doubt that today was much better than yesterday. And I also expected that. I saw yesterday as a uh, yeah, good way to get going as well, and hopefully it will be even, even better tomorrow. That's what I hope for at least. Yeah, there are many fans around the world still not able to play badminton in mm. their sort of local leisure centres. Uh, you've had the experience in all England now here. How can you sort of prepare physically in, in your room? What can you do? Yeah, well, I flipped the uh, bed over and uh, put it up against the wall so I had a bit more uh, floor space. And uh, then I just did some uh, yeah, lunches and jumps and a bit of footwork. Uh, I even tried hitting a shuttle against the, uh, against the wall. Uh, it's not too easy when the hotel rooms are not really that big. Uh, but yeah, basically just I try to do anything I can to get my legs going and get a bit of a, a pulse as well. Uh, yeah, get, get the heart beating. Um, so yeah, just try to do anything I can really. But I can't really... Uh, it can have the same effect as going to the gym or going to the hall. Uh, but I won't complain too much. As you say, there's lots of people that can't even play. But uh, to play at this level, it's pretty vital that you can prepare better than uh, I've been able to. But uh, yeah, I'm proud that I managed to play so well anyway. Absolutely. You're through to the quarterfinal. Congratulations. Very well played. Thanks.